Today was the last day of the Columbiana Chalk Show. Six professional artists and six amateur artists showed their drawing skills off today. First News reporter Jacob Thompson spoke to a couple of those artists. He joins us in the newsroom live with that story new at 10. Jacob? Yeah, Keely. Making a masterpiece of art out of chalk isn't something you wouldn't stereotypically classify as art. But both the artists I spoke to today decided to show up and show what they could do. One is not better than another. They are all excellent. Walking down Main Street in Columbiana, you might see sidewalk chalk everywhere. Professional and local artists came out to show off their skills, even if they've never done it before. Uh, this is my first piece I've ever done. I've never done chalk art before. It's easy to get into a certain just phase of doing your own thing as an artist. And this gave me an opportunity to do something a little bit different than I'm used to. Both artists I talked to came in with different styles of presenting their masterpiece. This is like a princess, and she's just kind of dark and mysterious. She kind of has this spiderweb crown, and this is her dragon that's very mad and upset and ferocious. We had just come from a World War II reenactment in Konyat, so it kind of inspired me to do something themed with history and for the veterans who were at D-Day. Sarah Jack is from New Waterford. She is the winner of the amateur chalk drawing competition, something she is both happy and shocked about. Pretty excited. <laughs> I literally did not think I would win. <laughs> I, I don't really know. I just never thought I would win. <laughs> and for Guy, it was a great weekend to show off his art. It was small, condensed. The band was great. A bunch of great artists. And I think it was a perfect little community event. Now, the six professional artists were the judges of the competition, and like I said, I, they placed Sarah Jack first, and she won $150. Ty Guy placed second, and he won 100 Live in the newsroom, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.